Yeah, let's sit and meditate for a few minutes. Hainam Pavana Sapakdin. One of the phrases we chant every day is that may all living beings look after themselves with ease. May I look after myself with ease. And part of that means, of course, you don't want to be a burden on anyone else. This is why we have to train the mind. Because the mind gets burdened with a lot of things, especially with aging, illness, as they come in. You find it harder and harder to look after yourself physically. And for many people, they start finding it harder and harder to look out of themselves emotionally. When the, when the body starts going, the mind starts going as well. And that places a huge burden on other people. I mean, it's bad enough that our bodies get to the point where we ha can't look after themselves. We can't look after ourselves. But the good news is that you can train your mind so it can look after itself as well. Even when the body gets weaker, the mind can stay strong. This is why we meditate. So the mind has a firm foundation inside, a sense of awareness, a sense of knowing inside that doesn't have to pick up any thoughts that would make you suffer. You know they're there, but you don't have to pick them up. It's like knowing that fire is hot. Okay, you know it's hot and it can damage you, but you don't stick your finger there. And you find yourself picking up the fire, you drop it immediately. With people with untrained minds, they just pick up the fire and they hold it, and then they complain, why is it so hot? They haven't had learned how to let go of any thoughts that are going to burn the mind. And they do big things that burn the mind, of course, a physical pain. And all the stories we tell ourselves about the pain, pain comes, you know, oh my gosh, where did this pain come from? Is this going to be the end? How much longer is this pain going to last? How, much, how long has this pain lasted? Those kind of thoughts just weigh them on down. You have to realize, okay, there's just the sensation of pain right now. The past pains you don't have to carry around with you. You don't have to carry the future pains around with you as well. You just learn how to be with the pain in the present moment. You find it's a lot more tolerable, a lot easier to handle. The other thing we find hard to take is other people's words when people say things that hurt us or that hurt our feelings. We can't let that seep into the mind either. Because we're born in this world where everybody has a mouth and they have the right to say whatever they want to with their mouths. There's no way you're going to go running around and make sure people say only things that you want to hear. So you've got to develop the state of mind that doesn't really feed off of other people's words and doesn't need their words in order to be happy. That way if the words come nicely, okay, that's fine. If they don't come nicely, that's no, no problem either. That's why we need to develop this sense of center inside. So we can develop the patience and the sense of tolerance and endurance that's needed in order to live in this world but not be weighed down by it. And when we're not weighed down by it, we're not creating a burden for other people. People whose minds are trained when, when they start getting sick or when they start getting older are a lot easier to look after than people whose minds haven't been trained. So this is one good reason why we can learn how to look after ourselves with ease. We, maybe the, the point comes where the body can't be looked after by yourself, you need other people's help. But if you train the mind, you can look after your mind all the way to the end, and even beyond the end. This is why this is an important skill to develop, and it's not just for your own benefit, it's for the benefit of everybody around you as well. <laughs>